Okay, okay, okay. Listen, I am not even mad that I did a video on a Sunday. Ooh, get your feng shui, April. Okay, sip you a little coffee. <sighs> There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. It's Sunday. I normally don't edit or even do much on a Sunday, but a girl was bored. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Sunday, didn't have much to do today. I decided to do this video. I've worked with this company twice and they're very popular, very well known. If you're looking at the prices and you guys, you know, you do that wide eye motion, just keep in mind that they are very well known and they do have some really good quality hair wigs so you know just keep that in mind with further ado the company for today is wow african you know i love textured hair i love textured hair and this is a 360 lace wig like the natural color in it i've already went ahead and did what i like to do which is bleach and pre-pluck and i also did hot comb the unit off camera when i washed it the hair got really thick you know kind of like more textured and when i put the hot comb to the edges they lay really nice when i put the flat comb to the hair you know, just like one pass through, depending on how much hair you have in the unit or in the in the clip or in a flat iron, just one pass through, and it came out good. So I'm gonna just stop chit chatting, and we're gonna get into this wig video. I'm gonna show you how your wig comes, and we just take it from there. Okay. When you receive your unit from Wild African, it'll come in their standard black packaging. You'll also receive a brochure, which is their after sales service card and hair care instructions. Wild African will also provide a satin bag which you can use to store your unit in to keep it safe. These are great for traveling as well. Wild African will also provide a two-piece wig cap. The unit that I received is an 18 inch 360 Italian Yaki Lace Frontal. The density of this unit is 130% and it is virgin Malaysian hair. African has also sewn in a black elastic band which can easily be removed and adjusted. The hair texture is yakky but looks very full, kind of resembles kinky to me but this unit is very textured and pretty straight out of the packaging. Your elastic band will also state wow African on it. So you'll definitely remember where you got your unit from. I went ahead and used a 30 volume developer along with some bleach to make my scalp look more natural. As if you do prefer a more natural scalp, you will need to bleach the unit. The lace is very transparent and will easily melt into your hairline. Make sure you check out Wild African as they've been around for a while and have many units to choose from. I'll link all of their information down below. The first thing that you need to do prior to applying your unit, if you do decide to adhere with any type of hairspray or glue, is make sure that your hairline is completely clean from any types of makeup, oil, or debris. I'm going to go ahead and fasten this elastic headband or elastic band in the back and then I'm going to be slipping the combs into my two anchor braids on the side along with the comb in the adjustable strap in the back already adhered. It's really important to have tools on hand when you do decide to cut the lace on your unit. You don't want any other hairs to get in the way. I do like these clips as they do come in a four pack and they are available at any type of local beauty supply store. For cutting the lace, I do use a small pair of curved scissors and as you see, I'm going in in kind of like a jagged motion. This is to prevent any type of blunt cut across the hairline. And I may be just removing some portions of the hair in the hairline, but that's okay because I've already went ahead and pre-plucked the unit if I did forget to mention. The unit is a little bit bigger on the sides of my 
Make sure you take your time when doing this method as you don't want to cut too much hair off the hairline as this may prevent your wig from pr properly fitting. And as most wigs do come standard, they may be a little bit too big on the sides as this one is overlapping my ear. So I went ahead and used my rat tail comb to part it above my ear and cut the excess lace off. Please keep in mind that this will not destroy your unit or ruin it as it will only allow your wig to fit more comfortably and lay flat to your head. So if it is overlapping your ear, just take your comb and just part it directly above your ear. And if there are any types of extra lace that may be on the hairline, try to snip those away. I do like to have some type of sideburn hairs and wispy hairs, so I'm going to take my rat tail comb and part in the front of my hairline. Now this step is optional, you don't have to do this if you don't prefer. Now just to shorten the lengths of the baby hairs or the swoops hairs or the wispy hairs, whatever you want to call them, I'm just going to use these clips just to get any extra hair out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and first, I'm going to adhere the wig by using my Got To Be Glam Force. I do like this hairspray as it does give a good hold. And I will spray some underneath along with that in between where I made the part. I also do like to use the bed head hairspray as well, but I can go back and forth. This hairspray will give me quite a few days holds if I do it in this particular fashion. If you do not have a blow dryer to dry your product down, try to spray it in small sections. This does dry pretty fast the product. And I'm also going to be using a rat tail comb just to go ahead and press the lace into my unit. Or press the lace into my hairline. Make sure that you don't have any hair sticking to your skin. If you do, that does mean that some of the hairspray may have seeped onto your skin. This is a really easy cleanup with hairspray. You can easily just use a baby wipe, an alcohol wipe, or a warm washcloth to remove any excess hairspray. And I'll just go ahead and repeat the same step on the opposite side, keeping my blow dryer on a cool to medium heat. And as you see, I'm just going to be wiping down some of the lace because it did get a little bit of flakiness due to the amount of hairspray I used. And then I'm going to take those small scissors once again and cut the hair to the desired length. I am not going to be using all of these hairs as you guys see around the perimeter, but I'm just going to be styling them and just pressing them back. And now to sculpt the hairs of my unit, I will be using some of my Salon Selective Styling Mousse, which you can purchase at your local Dollar Tree. I will be spraying some of that hairspray onto one of my favorite styling tool toothbrushes just to style it, but I realized that it was drying so quick that it wasn't working out in my favor, so I went ahead back to my Salon Selectives hair styling mousse and just use that to sculpt down the hairs and brush them back to make them look as if they were kind of like growing out of my scalp. This lace is really good, it's very melteable and I do believe the color that I have is a light brown. And just while I mess around with these wispy hairs and flyaway hairs, Now I'm going to take this hairspray and I'm going to spray it on the tail end of the comb and I'm going to place that comb behind the hairline just a tad bit and brush those hairs upwards. This is just going to make the hair sit up a little bit higher and also make it look like it is growing out of my scalp versus laying it flat and making it a lot more noticeable. I tend to do this a lot especially in the front area so that way I don't need too many types of wispies or baby hairs. As you guys can tell, this hair is actually beautiful. I did press it after I bleached and washed it, so it does press really easy. And just to make the lace look a little bit more natural, I'm just going to use some of my pressed powder and blend that into the lace. 
Now just for a little bit of flair and style, I decided to use my wand because I really did want to see how well this hair curls. It does flat iron easy and that's a plus because it does look very textured in the beginning of the video. But once you add a flat iron to it, it does press really easy. Along with that, the curling wand does work just as well and that was one of my favorite songs, okay. And when you are releasing the hair from the curling wand, you either should clip your hair or hold it in place until it cools down. So that way the curl will hold. And I'm just going to continue doing this throughout the hair. So that way it'll have some type of body and style. And I did want to see how well this hair took to heat. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, I am not even mad that I did a video on a Sunday. Like, I'm really feeling this. Despite the problems I was having with the baby hairs, because, you know, first I tried to just hairspray it on a brush a little bit, but that didn't work out in my favor. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I think it had a lot to do with, I should have um, cleaned off my hairline a little bit better. Thank you, Wild African. You know, beautiful texture hair. It fits well. You know, I like the way it was so easy to curl and press when I first, you know, had got it. You know, cause some hair is just like a whole different world of its own. This one actually came out really, really nice. 18 inches is just decent. I just keep checking myself out. Now, as far as what I did with my hairs in the front, you know, I just try to make them look as natural as possible. Sometimes you do have to have a little loose hairs. Just notice that the uh, lace was just a little bit lighter than my color. So I did add a little bit of my pressed powder, but for my hair in the front, just to make it look like it's more or less growing out of my roots, I do just spray a little bit of the hairspray on a comb and kind of like go underneath and in between the hairs and push them forward. So that way it'll look like it's, you know, sticking up and growing out of my scalp. It came out really nice. Like this is a decent wig. You could pull it up if you wanted to. And the hair is so soft. I like the density. For 130, this is decent. This is very versatile hair. So you guys, let me know what you think of Wild African. Have you guys ever purchased a wig from them? Have you wanted to try a wig from them? What is your feelings, you know, from the videos you've seen? Just let me know what you think. I'm going to go. And on that note, um, yeah, I got to do another video, of course. But leave your comments below and stay diva and devolicious. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Get them, spin them, unless I'm soon to get them. I put the records on them. Big mans can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.